Now that we've done a bunch of vocabulary exercises, and we're going to still continue to do them, we're actually going to go through the process of reading a short story. So the overview for this lesson is, well, we're going to do the Hollywood Three Act, and then we're going to learn some literature jargon, and then I'm going to give you an introduction to Ray Bradbury and a short story called The Velt. So first off, what's a Hollywood Three Act? If you've done the writing course, you already kind of know what this is, and we've already gone over it. So I'm going to give you a very quickly written story and a very quick summarization of a story where I tell not show. And in this story, we'll illustrate what the Hollywood Three Act is. In the Old West, a bandit and his gang were spending their stolen money in an Old West saloon. The lead bandit says to his gang that he's bored and he wants to do something bigger. Another objects and says that it's better not to take any more risk. The lead bandit accuses him of being a coward. Then, a railroad worker comes in and orders drinks for his friends. The bandits hear the worker talk about the train track coming to town. The lead bandit knows that this means there's going to be a lot of money in the bank. The bandit pulls his band together and says, Boys, it's time to rob the bank, unless you're all chicken. The bandit and his gang work together. At night, two of his gang distract the bank guards with gunfire, while the rest use dynamite, and, and they are on the road, cackling their way to victory. The next day, the railroad workers went to get to their payroll at the camp, and the banker said it was all stolen. This made him and the other workers very angry. They tracked down and searched town after town until they finally found where the gang was hidden. The worker challenged the bandit to the duel. The bandit laughed at the worker and said, If you're so ready to die, you can borrow one of my pistols. Then, in front of his gang, the bandit and the worker face off. The worker drops his pistol and called the bandit a coward unless he fought barehanded. The bandit looked at his wide-eyed men. Then he grunted and dropped his gun. The worker knocked out the bandit with one punch and the rest of the gang ran away. The end. Everybody lived happily ever after. Real short, choppy story, but it's to illustrate a very important fact. The Hollywood Three Act. So, the Hollywood Three Act begins with, appropriately named, Act One. Act One introduces the setting, and it introduces the lead characters and the conflict. It will end with something called the first turning point, or as I usually term it, the first doorway. So, who's our lead characters in this little short story that we've just run over? Well, we got the railroad worker and the bandit. Okay, they're kind of enemies for obvious reasons, as you see in Act 2 of why they're opposed together. And what's the conflict? Well, we got a bandit in town and they're robbing people, and then they just robbed a bank, and now a bunch of railroad workers can't get money for their hard work. That's a big deal. Now, what's the first doorway here? Well... It began like a day like any other, a bunch of bandits spending money in the saloon. But then it changed when the lead bandit said, hey, we're going to go ahead and rob a bank. 